Libra, welcome back to Majestic Notion, guys. Welcome. Okay, this is going to be a full moon in Scorpio energy for the next couple weeks. I know it was on the 26th, but I have family over, so excuse the delay on the videos. But this is just a mini bonus energy check-in for the next two weeks for the full moon in Scorpio and all the way into May. Okay, um, so obviously it's it can be a time... A very intense time for most through this Scorpio full moon pink moon energy so it's a time for going within basically transformation letting the old go um, self-love self-worth self-care you know it's really a time to hone in and look inward at you know what serves you what doesn't get rid of what doesn't kind of energy so I went ahead and got you guys a self-care tip I was looking um, you know to see what I can give you guys for this energy so your self-care tip is money affirmations can be extremely powerful for you create 13 square green cards and using a green marker write an affirmation in present tense on each this can include I'm a money magnet every investment I make is beneficial to my bank account the universe will always provide. Get creative with it. Post them up around your home in high traffic areas to remind you. So that's that's a great. Um, I might pick that up for myself. Hey, I have a lot of water in my chart, but my moon is in Libra. Okay, thank God for that. <laughs> it, it it balances me out because you know if I were to have all this water in my chart and have it in my moon, oh my goodness. So I'm glad I have air in my moon. So I, w I will be making those little affirmations for myself. So that's a good self-care tip for this energy for the next couple weeks. And then we're going to get into what's going on into May. Thank you guys so much for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, all your beautiful comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those who have donated to the channel, thank you so much. As it all goes back to you guys um, with my readings, the cards that I make, all of that. So thank you for that. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell for those who would like to see when the readings pop up. And let's get into this energy. So let's see what we got for you guys. I'm going to start off with the Archetype deck by Divine Time 1111. All of the decks I use here today, including my own decks, will be below the video in the description box with the links to all the decks, okay? Let's Go, let's see what we got. Okay, let's see, Libra, what's going on? Money magnet. Okay, so we have victim. Let's see what else we got. Oh, that felt a little weird. Okay. So we have Pisces and Beauty. All right, so we have Pisces. So some of you could have Pisces Moon, or you're dealing with a Pisces, or someone with Pisces in their chart. Okay, so let's see. What do we have here? Victim, Pisces, and Beauty. All right. I'm going to start off with the Millennium Talk Tarot. And let's get three shuffles here. And let's have some fun, Libra. Let's have some fun, hopefully. Okay. One more shuffle here. Every day I'm shuffling, shuffling. Victim. Okay, well, that's your card, Libra. That would be justice. Adjustment. Okay. Pisces. Seven of Swords. Ooh. A little bit of deception here. And I don't know if you noticed, but if you look at that person's face, she don't look too happy. She or he. Okay. So 
we're gonna see what that's about especially with the seven of swords coming out beauty the chariot okay moving forward with victory or someone could be coming to see you here all right and remember guys this can resonate for you libra or the person in question that you're asking about or both of your energies can come through here we also have people that watch for their sun moon rising venus or jupiter placements when it comes to libra so or people that are dealing with a libra okay so just keep that in mind it doesn't have to be precisely like a pisces you know what i mean it could just be someone that has it in their chart we have cancer here with the chariot but you know i'm going to share the energies with you because a lot of people like to know all right so there's some type of ju um, justice for some type of major deceit here when I when seven of swords is next to the justice card there was major deception here okay but there will be victory and success all right especially when I see the victim card with justice you were a victim of some type of circumstance okay so let's see what we got here you or someone else okay so let's see intergalactic tarot plus oracle that's one of my decks let's get into it and you know I feel like the Scorpio full moon is bringing a lot of shit to the surface not only emotionally but a lot of truth so whatever is hidden is coming to light and uh you know there's gonna you know like scatter I'm, I'm getting like scattered roaches you know you turn on the light and it's like shh. it's kind of like that the truth shall set you free high priestess okay high priestess with victim and justice if this is divine justice and you're some sort of like let's say star seed or something like that this is divine justice okay but there's all this is also something hidden okay but coming to light here there there was something in just here big time Anyway, let me move forward seven of swords yep manipulator trickster and liar so either you're dealing with a Pisces here that was a trickster a manipulator and a liar seven of swords definitely major injustice with somebody with this energy um, definitely karma here okay two of wands okay and then then moving in, the, in a different direction so I feel like you chose a different path and you moved on with victory okay um but there is still karma to be served to this person okay whoever this is and you moved on you could have had a spiritual connection with someone or you felt a spiritual connection but i do feel like you you both had karma together but they're getting some bad karma for whatever they did here because you're moving forward with victory two of wands you're on a different path and you could bump into someone new here somebody's coming through that portal here so we'll see or, or you just catapult it into a whole new direction interesting energy okay so we're gonna get into the tarot of the haunted house let's see what we got here and with the high priestess right next to the manipulator to me I always see this as narcissistic energy because yes you guys always know I always talk about narcissists because I just can't stand the behavior and I can't stand the way they pull the wool over people's eyes and they are very very intuitive and sometimes you know a lot of people think they're empathic because they're so intuitive but they need to realize that there's a huge difference although it seems similar at the same time between a narcissist and an empath and that's because sometimes a narcissist acts like an empath but it's a trick it's all a game because they're very they are very intuitive and if they pick up on the fact that you're, you're empathic they're gonna try to mimic 
especially when they want something out of you. They're going to mimic this image of of goodness or whatever it is that they do to get something out of you. So that can be really tricky. And, you know, I hate that. I just, ugh. Because people just fall for it, like hook, line, and sinker. I mean, I have in the past, you know. You know, it, we all we all fall for it till we finally see them for who they are. And it's like, uh, 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 uh. you ain't fooling me no more. You know, it's 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 hard to watch though. It's like, oh god. One more shuffle here. But definitely no. Not empathic. Um, narcissists do not embody empathy. They were not raised to embody empathy. They re they have so much trauma from their childhood that they were never raised with that type of empathy. And they're it, you don't just gain empathy out of the blue. Okay, so this this happened a long time ago <laughs> in their childhood, and that's the path they chose, and that's who they were molded to be is narcissistic. Okay, with this energy, most definitely. And with the injustice that I see here, most definitely. So, you know, an empath is an empath. A narcissist is not an empath. Okay? So we have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you definitely, you guys had some sort of cycle here. and It was karmic, is what I see there. Ten of Cups. Yeah, this could have felt like you met the love of your life at some point. Like I said, these these connections are very tricky because they love manipulating. Um, and it was all a lie. It was all a dream, you know. It was all a dream. Now, do narcissists fall in love? Of course they can fall in love. They're a human being at the end of the day. But because they're narcissistic they're not gonna act right and they're not going to allow themselves to be vulnerable unless they want something and the only time they're vulnerable is when they want something whether they're in love or not they'll act like they're in love and you're the person you're their soulmate their their gift and it's simply because it's a manipulation okay even if you met a karmic soulmate and they felt that this is the kind of person that would run from it and if you had the power to move on, which I see here, they're no, they know they're not going to pull the wool over your eyes. Okay? They know this. So, even if they tried, <laughs> you know, and c can they see you as the Ten of Cups? Yeah, if they felt connected like this to you, absolutely. But th this person will, will never be good for you because they will sabotage, sabotage, sabotage. They're out for themselves. And we have the Emperor. So you could be divine masculine energy. Um, or this could be somebody you were married to. Okay, This could be male or female. Um, somebody here could be going after someone else. Okay, So maybe you're a Libra or you were dealing with a Libra here. And um, what I see is you moving forward. And like I said, somebody here could be coming into your life as well and it could be this emperor coming to that portal i feel like you guys are going to cross paths is what i see here oh you know what i'm seeing here i feel like you're in the woods somewhere And then you have the world and you have the chariot. It's like somebody's either driving to come see you where you cross paths. Maybe you guys are going to meet at a park or something. I don't know. That's what I'm picking up here. A park or some type of outdoor retreat. That's, I don't know. That's what I'm getting. That, that could resonate for someone here. I don't know if you've met this person yet or not, or if this is you moving on. I just feel like with beauty and the emperor, there's like 
two people trying to come together here. And I do see now when I read across here with the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Emperor, I do see a family man here. They might have two kids. Um, they could have twins for some of you. Um, but I see the Ten of Cups with this person. And you may not see this coming with the High Priestess. But you're on the right path to meet this person. So this could be your, the father of your future children. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. Alright, let's get into this. Whatever this, There's a, a lot going on here. So let me use my Buried Alive Rising of the Phoenix, number 13, the Death Series. Let's see what's going on here, Libra. We have Pisces energy here. Aries, Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer. Libra. Of course. One more shuffle. And remember, if you hear any noise or people laughing, I have family over. Okay, so sorry about the noise. Okay. Yeah, Muse. You are now the force and source of inspiration for others. So whatever happened to you here? Wow. It was a cycle to for you to become your higher self. And um, so you went through a dark path. You know, the high priestess is the balance between dark energies and light energies. And this is higher wisdom here. Okay, so you were submerged at some point. And again, this is, could be an empath energy with this here. Not a cross, but right here. Um, and because, you know, now you are the, the force and source of inspiration for others. Because you went through something very heavy. Like I said, you were a victim of some type of circumstance here. And the divine deems it so. Okay? And you will be blessed here, is what I'm seeing. And you've learned quite a bit. I feel you're someone that is quite wise in what you have learned and what you have gone through. So, very nice to see. Let's see what's happening over here. Yeah, you had a phoenix rising. Wherever you apply yourself from here on out will have great rewards. The fun has just begun. Number 39, adding up to 12. And number 28 could be significant, adding up to 11, excuse me, nine, uh, 10. Can't even count. Okay. So uh, 10 and 12. And we have lost soul. I have tried making peace with myself and pretend like I'm not affected by the things I know I have caused. The truth is I have never felt darkness like I do today. At times your absence affects me more than I can care to admit. Wow. So somebody, I feel like they could have took taken a wrong path, is what I feel, um, before they came into your life again. Um, they got lost. Because we do have the Two of Wands. And, um, wow. So it could have been definitely this person that went through it with someone, or you did. There's a few energies here coming through. Number 79. Yeah. I feel that divine is with this person um, and leading them towards their victory. They definitely took a wrong path, but they had to become this emperor. And they could have been the one dealing with a trickster. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if this is somebody coming into your life or if this is your energy. So take it. I hope it resonates for you here. Because I feel like this could be you. We have a trickster. And then I feel like... Either you are this person that went through all of this, or these are two different people here. And this is you, and this is someone else coming into your life. 
there's different energies here. So let's get some messages. So I'm going to use my expressions of the fall message medley deck. And let's see what's happening here. And hey, if you were once lost, you're definitely found <laughs> with uh, Rising of the Phoenix. You, you were submerged learning lessons for some time there. Let's see. Magnetic Aura, the Honey Bee, Queen Bee. Yeah, yeah, with that energy. Mm -hmm. Your soul is very magnetic with the High Priestess. Because you're very wise, you're very intuitive, and you have a certain allure and mystery to you um, with this High Priestess energy. Summertime, summer loving, it's time for a splash. Um, so you could just be letting somebody go, found out some type of lie, and then enjoy it. You're enjoying yourself over the summer. Okay. Kind of letting go of something here, setting it free. Yeah, you're meeting your twin flame. This is your twin flame, 1111. That's who's coming. Okay. But they had took a wrong turn. And now they're coming to you. Okay, two of wands, they're coming through your portal with uh, victory and success here. So they were lost and now they're found. Okay, so yeah, definitely somebody dealt with some type of trickster um, here. So this could be your twin flames energy I'm picking up on. Um, but they were definitely in some sort of connection here. And they're about to take a whole nother path. Okay, let's see what else we pick up. I'm going to use my manifest deck. And let's see what else do we pick up. Libra. One more shuffle. I got rose petals all over the place. All right. Yeah, somebody cheated. Cheated because I'm a player. I'm a toxic, selfish lover, self-involved, and taker. I told you you were a victim of circumstance. And it's divinely, like, it is divinely unjust. <laughs> uh, that's what I can tell you there. But it was meant for you. You you, you went through something hard. Okay, it was a karmic cycle here. And you came out stronger than you were ever before with Muse. Okay. Yeah, we have divine gift. Travel, date, abundance, spoiling, showering you with gifts. You know, um, I'm not sure if somebody's spending time with a trickster here. But there's a Pisces here that's really up to no good. But somebody here, I mean, we're, we had a Phoenix rising. I would hope that you could see someone for who they are here. But I feel like maybe perhaps this is behind you is what I'm getting and you're about to maybe just be happy doing you okay spoiling yourself traveling during the summer and uh, just being happy with maybe your family you know brothers sisters mother father uh, your kids so I did pick up kids here if you have kids um, or this is your twin flame that's coming into your life here going through this okay Somebody here definitely was with a trickster. Alright. I and sometimes I pick up on both twin flames energies and what they went through, so this is why this this is um I feel a lot of energies here. 
So this could be like Divine Feminine went through this, Divine Masculine went through a trickster, and now he's taking a different path to meet his twin flame, meet up with his twin flame, either again or for the first time. Because I feel like you're, for some of you, you're crossing paths with someone new and it's your twin flame. But for others of you, you're going to see your twin flame again. Yeah, someone from your past will send a message, feeling nostalgic, missing you, thinking of you. And let's see what else we have. And this could be someone else because we do have the two of wands. So you might have more than one person reaching out to you. Okay. And it could be the person that's lost as well. So we're going to see. Yeah, somebody stalks your social media, lurking, watching someone from your past. And then we have Secret Admirer. So... So let's get into Divine Masculine, truth be told. One more shuffle. On top of the world make a wish I will surely make it come true sooner than you think so I feel like at this time you're at the point where you're attracting what you want and justice is on your side and I feel the divine is saying make a wish at this time during this this time and I will surely make it come true and I feel it's because you went through something very unjust and you are the muse. So for some of you, you're already working with your spiritual gifts, spreading your light. I feel you are a light worker here for some of you. Well, actually, yeah, if we're dealing with twin flame energy, that's what I'm feeling here. And I just feel like the divine is, is saying, ask for what you want. Okay. Because they know you went through something rough. I feel like this is divine feminine energy, to be honest. So let's see what else we have. Yeah, I want you in my GPS. So whoever dealt with this manipulator over here, I feel they're ready to move forward. Um, they could be going through a Phoenix Rising over the summer. Okay. Um, maybe they're going to travel to see some family here. All right. And I feel like they're going to come see their Divine Feminine. Because we have it here as well. Somebody coming to see someone. And it's Divine Gift. Okay, so it, I feel like it's time for you guys to like meet up. Let's get one more here. I'm closer than you think. Yeah, so there's either somebody from your past here. I feel like there's two people here though. Um, somebody might surprise you from your past out of the blue. Um, or your twin flame, we're going to see. Let's get into the Beechcraft Oracle messages. I'm getting that song, One More Minute, One More Minute, yeah. So somebody's coming home. I'm coming home. I feel like you blocked me. Mm. So you blocked whoever cheated on you, most definitely. Okay. And it would crush me to see you with someone else. Yeah, somebody's getting ready to come towards you. And they're hoping that you're still single, is what I see there. And allow me the cur allow me to muster up the courage to ask you out. I want to get another round here. Okay, so no, maybe you didn't block them. And sometimes, like, um, sometimes we get rid of certain social medias, and people might think you blocked them because they can't find you all of a sudden. So that could be something like that. Or you didn't block someone. Yeah, I have children. And that's what I was picking up. So somebody here does have children. 
So they're spending time with their family, I feel. They might travel and spend some time with some family, their children. And we have jealousy. Yeah, you're going to have somebody in your past jealous of this new connection. Because they're over here wondering why you blocked them, and it's because they cheated. You have the two of wands. So you have two choices to make, but you already learned a lesson from one. You're already the muse, so you're not going to choose the same path again. You have, you, you're on the path to meet your twin flame, but somebody from your past is going to intervene here. And um, I feel it's your twin flame trying to muster up the courage to ask you out. And it's going to make this other person jealous. And it's the person that misses you. Okay? At, t at times your absence affects me more than I c can admit. And that's somebody here that you dealt with that cheated. So I'm definitely feeling like I'm picking up on both Twin Flame energies and what you guys have been through. Oh boy. <coughs> so let's get some messages here. Island Time Wellness Love Oracle deck. Wow, that's flip. Yeah. There you go. So you healed something here. Okay, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, and jealousy, relationship evolving into the next phase, healing the inner child, and I see that here. You've healed already, and you were with somebody that didn't feel like they were enough. That's why they would cheat, and because of their childhood traumas, and so you met this person to heal yourself as well. Let's go over here. Broken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. And that's because they saw somebody as their Ten of Cups. And um, there's heartbreak here. So either that's happening around the summer or that already happened. Okay? Because I see somebody coming towards you. Um, let's get one more there. Yeah, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. You know, I'm almost feeling like there's still like a little bit of a lesson here. Somebody might be going to see someone here. It's going to lead to heartbreak. They're just friends, but I feel like there's some history here. I almost feel like this is divine masculine energy. But there, something's going to happen here to where they're going to have a phoenix rising. And they're going to be heartbroken. That's what's going to lead to the phoenix rising. I feel like somebody's traveling to see some type of Pisces here. Is what I'm seeing. Because this is before that. And then this phoenix rising leads to them moving forward. So there's still a lesson to be learned for Divine Masculine is what I'm feeling. Let's go over here. Yep. And then that's when you guys will have union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. And let's get another one because there's definitely another energy here. Yep. And that's the person from the past that's jealous, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So I definitely feel I'm picking up on both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine's energy in the Twin Flame connection. You both dealt with narcissistic people. That's what I'm picking up. But you learned your lesson. You grew. You're the muse. Divine Masculine is still learning this. Okay? With some kind of Pisces that is a trickster and a liar. 
okay and they they could have seen them like the ten of cups but it's not it's gonna lead to heartbreak you know it would hurt them to see them with someone else but I feel like that's probably what's gonna happen here maybe they have children with this person or maybe they just have children and they're gonna meet up and realize something so I don't know Something's bound to happen here. Let's look at future energies. I'm going to get into the Santa Muerte deck. One more shuffle. Just going to get three cards, Libra. That's the Ace of Wands. That's one to come out. Yeah, somebody could just be. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Is it? I, I heard somebody could just be horny right now, making bad decisions. Okay. Knight of Cups. Yeah, Mr. Charmer. On the prowl. Yeah, Knight of Wands. You you have a few suitors here, and I see it here. But remember. That's the narcissist energy, Knight of Wands with Golden Mare here. Self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship. And you you your divine masculine is charming and is quite the lover boy is what I'm getting. They could fall easily for women that are narcissistic is what I'm getting here. They keep trying they keep repeating patterns. I don't know that that's what I'm getting there. Okay? And then we have message. So you're going to get a message from both of these people. I see it here. Divine Feminine. Okay. Two so people want to go after you for two totally different reasons. Obviously, we have a twin flame and then we have a narcissist. So. Oh boy. <laughs> um, let's get you a fortune here. All right. Yeah, when somebody's like charming and kind of falls, it's almost because I see the Knight of Cups as someone that falls in love with the idea of love because they're often looking for that soul bond, but they fall prey. I mean, it's an empathic energy I can feel. I can see it here. But they fall prey to narcissistic women so often, and it's a pattern they've been going on. angel your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey so no matter what divine feminine you're being protected and you're doing really well for yourself so whatever you want make a wish and it will be granted okay for the divine feminines that are on a twin flame path okay all right libra that's what i have for you Hopefully that resonates with somebody out there. Let me know in the comments. And if I seem a little mellow, it's because I am. I'm a little tired. Okay, so I might have to actually take a nap. But I still see the energy just just as it is. Okay, don't don't doubt that. Um, I just feel like this person really needs to go through this heartbreak. It, it's I'll leave it there. <laughs> they they just they're too um sometimes there's there's people like that they're um emotionally codependent is what this person's major problem would be the divine masculine. They fall in love too quickly, too easy. Some people they see like the smallest things that they connect to to a person and it's like, "Oh my god, we're meant to be." You know, some people are like that. So I feel that's a lesson they, they have to learn. So, anyways, that's what I got for you guys. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Wish you the best. Bye-bye.